It was very dark in here. Quite hard to see anything. Uh huh. Um. It's like I'm in a room. Is that the way I came in, or is that going into this place? That's going into this place. Okay. Strange, creepy base room. Let's open this up. I'm surprised with doors like that, there isn't... What? <laughs> when I got the call, I didn't hesitate for one second. I came without telling anybody, not even Tyler. All I knew is that I was supposed to go to the grave of somebody who'd just been buried that morning. Tiffany Harper, Lucas Kane's ex-girlfriend. It's negative 41 degrees Fahrenheit. You cannot cannot be out in negative 41 degrees Fahrenheit without having something over your face. This is ridiculous. That's not possible. Your eyeballs would literally freeze out of your head. <laughs> Anyways, what I was about to say is I'm surprised that that thing that Lucas was opening as a kid didn't have some kind of key card, considering that it's a military base. There is no way it is negative 41 degrees. Because right now, Carla is dead if it is negative 41 degrees. There is no possible way. That's ridiculous. Got a nice little angel over there. That looks like flowers, so I'm going to guess that that indicates that that's the uh, thing that was just buried. It's like a wreath or something? And it's got a little picture on it and everything. I'm guessing that's Tiff there. Hey, Tiffy. You kind of screwed over, apparently. She was a good person. She didn't have anything to do with all of this. Well, let's be trusting. You got a lot of guts, Mr. Kane. To call my office and ask for a meeting when every cop in the country is hot on your trail. I didn't see that coming. Your investigation has too many shadowy areas in it for you to content yourself with the official version. You're here because you think I might have the answers to your questions. That's weird. No steam comes out of his mouth when he talks, like his breath was already cold. Great. He's dead. Well then, who is the real killer? I don't know his name. I don't even know if there's anyone alive who does. All that I do know is that he's a Mayan oracle who has the power to erase all memory of his existence from anyone who sees him. Let's talk about the Oracle. The Oracle isn't acting alone, is he? He belongs to a secret clan who have united the most powerful beings on Earth. Their power has no limit, and they'll do anything to get the Indigo Child. You mean the Orange Clan? You already know about them? I went to see one of the murderers in an asylum. He talked about the Orange Clan. Oh, this is just unbelievable. But his story is consistent. It seems to fit with what I already know. Man, if you came there, you already believed him. Let's uh, talk about the roots. How did you learn all of this? I just know, that's all. The question isn't whether what I'm saying is true or not. The question is, are you going to help me? Uh, why me? Why are you telling me all of this? Because you're the only person who knows that what I'm saying is true. And even if you're right, what can we do about it? Nobody's gonna believe all this. And if the Oracle really has all these powers, what can we do to stop him? Find the Indigo Child before he does, and hide her someplace safe. Do you know where she is? Not yet, but I'll find her. I see through the eyes of the Oracle during his visions. If he sees her, I'll see her. Oh, this is just insane. I cannot believe I'm actually sitting here talking about saving the world with a fugitive wanted by every police department in the country. You're free to choose which side you're on. You can arrest me, or you can trust me and help me save the child. But you must decide quickly. I haven't got much time. What am 
I supposed to do? If he's lying, I'm aiding a murderer and I'll go to prison. But if he's telling the truth, I have to help him. Help him. So, either you're crazy or you're some kind of hero. He's a hero. Neither one nor the other. I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Hero in the making. His hand. It's as cold as ice. Yeah, Lucas is pretty dead. I mean, he, he fell from the same height as Tiffany. It's pretty doubtful that he actually uh, lived through that. Let's go back to Lucas in his unknown place. I want to I wanna see if we actually get to see what Lucas sees. Probably not. Probably going to be something completely different. Get ready already? Okay. Is this the indigo child? Looks more like the emerald child to me. St. Thomas Orphanage. Okay, that's random. That really did not fit what was going on at all. What? Where the hell did Carla come from? I I'm guessing that there was meant to be a, a sex scene there, but it just wasn't there. <laughs> I don't think it should have been though, and that didn't really link up with the story <laughs> that was kind of out of left field. Very weird. Let's go with Tyler. Why not? We barely ever Almost go with Tyler. The entire country is now without water and electricity services. The army has been mobilized to help provide shelter and basic necessities. But the cold and snow have hampered ground movement, and storms have shut down every airport in the country. Scientists are still unable to fully explain the reason behind the cold wave which has now gripped the entire planet. Temperatures continue to fall everywhere in the world as authorities ponder. Well, our job is done. Now it's up to the army to do what they can to help the population. Carla, you should get some sleep. You haven't closed your eyes in two days. I have to get warm to do that. I'm solid ice from head to toe. Yeah. Hey, look, can I get real with you here for a sec, Carla? I think it's probably now or never. I get the feeling you're hiding something from me on this cane thing. Am I right? Uh, let's admit it. Yeah, you're right. I found him, but I think he's innocent. I didn't say anything because I didn't want to get you involved, Tyler. You mad at me? Nah, of course not. Plus, with everything that's going on now, I guess it doesn't really matter. Anyway, as long as you do what you think is right, you can't go too wrong. Eh, I guess Tyler's not such a bad guy. Okay. Hey. You, uh... What are you doing here? Sam! What are you doing here, babe? There's a train leaving in one hour for Florida. It'll probably be the last one for a long time. I'll be on it, Tyler. With or without you. If you really love me, quit the police and come with me. When this cold stops, we'll get on with our lives. Our new, normal lives. It's time to make a choice, Tyler. That's ridiculous. Stay it took me a long time to figure out who I was and where I belong, Sam. But now I know. I know there are people who need help and who are counting on me. My place is here with them. Ooh. I feel like I'm a part of something good here. I love you, Sam, but I can't give up who I am. I understand. I don't know what's going to happen on this planet, but uh, I wish you luck, Tyler. That was a ridiculous ultimatum. You should not just say, oh, give up your entire life for me or fuck you. That was that was mean. 
That was very cruel of her to do. I wonder if there's any cards in this place. I have a feeling there probably are. Well, Tyler is pretty distraught right now, even though he chose um, chose to stand up for himself. Hopefully Tyler uh, won't get screwed up from that. What is going on over here? Was that just... I guess that was the sleeve of one of the police officers. Alright. Let's go see if there's any cards anywhere Hey, Tyler, else. what's new? Uh, my girlfriend just left new, me Tyler? for a train, and um, she probably hates my guts now, even though she kissed me goodbye, and uh, I am so distraught that I'm probably going to commit suicide in the next five minutes. So, uh, nothing new. Nothing new at all. It's cool. We're all good. I'm gonna go help Jeffrey and Doug. They're heading down to take a look in the southern sector to make sure everybody's out of there. Tyler. As long as you do what you think is right, you can't go too wrong. Good luck to you, Carla. I don't know how all this is gonna end up, but I hope it all works out for you. Oh, that should have improved Tyler's feelings. Here we are. Are you sure you know what you're doing? The Oracle's seen the child, just like I did. He'll be here to find her any minute now. I've got to get to her before he does. Wait for me here. I won't be long. This really feels rushed right now. It feels um, like they were taking it slow up until now, and then suddenly they're like, okay, story! I don't, I don't know if I like this, uh, this kind of rushed feeling they've got going on. It's a little bit too rushed. Those tires are made of snow now. <laughs> He's walking out here, no coat. He doesn't care. He's dead. Doesn't matter at all. Got a cross on this place. I don't know. Yeah, I can't go over here. There's no time to lose. I've got to find that girl before the Oracle does. Yeah, I'm sure we'll be fine, yeah? This is no timer going on right now. I think we're good. Sir? Sir? You can't go in there! Sorry, bitch. You can't call the cops on me. This quickly. The Oracle will be here any second. Oh, really? Okay. Hmm. Okay, I don't see anything that indicates where I need to go, except for the fact that that door looks different, but that's an exit. Alright, well, let's go looking indoors, I guess. Are you who I'm looking for? You can't go in. Uh oh. This is not. Oh, wait, this is the girl I'm looking for. I've seen you in my dreams. You have to come with me. We have to leave here right now. She seems out of it like she's not here at all. Well, talk about picking the right door the first time. I didn't even expect that. Can we, like, hide in the closet now? Okay, this guy is going to be out here right away. So, I see you're still alive. Yep. I don't know how you've managed it, but that's of no importance now. Give me the child, and I will grant you a rapid death. If you take her to the ones you serve, they'll use her to make slaves out of the entire human race. That's no concern of yours. You'll be dead before that comes to pass. Give me the child. I don't have time to play with you. No, I don't think so. Um, there's an exit door. Let's go through that. Quickly. See you later, bud. <laughs> we went through the exit, therefore we're safe. Oh, oh, wait, he's on the roof. Dude, that totally looks like the homeless guy. I'm leaving you here. You mustn't move, understand? I'll be back soon to get you. I hope. Oh, shit. This is not good. I don't know if I'm going to manage to get through this, but I'm going to try as hard as I can. Kicking ass here. I don't know why we're flying, but okay. <laughs> I'll go with it.
Good thing I practice on that punching bag, huh? That punching bag definitely made me very powerful. Whoops. Okay. We're just gonna run up anything that we feel like running up. We can do whatever we want now. He killed me and only made me stronger. I think this is what Obi-Wan was expecting to uh, happen when he got killed. It didn't quite work out that way. He kind of became a ghost, and so it didn't uh, didn't make him quite as powerful as he was hoping. But uh, Lucas, on the other hand, definitely got the power. He's like, I don't give a fuck anymore. I can kick ass. This guy's kind of creepy. But he is definitely not going to defeat us. Yeah, what's up? Damn. Breaking the roof here. 